Hey, Thomas here. In this video, we are going to unbox, assemble, set up, and program this here Aquatic Life Coral Cover Light Fixture. So by the end of the video, you should have it over your tank, all ready to go with a schedule, providing that lovely fill light to your branching corals that they can sincerely appreciate. In the box, you'll find the LED panels, the aluminum LED rails, the 18 inch side end plates, the universal LED brackets with screws, a screw packet to assemble the LED fixture, the suspension cable set, as well as the power supplies, power cables, and the instructions. You'll also need a number two Phillips screwdriver and optionally the light brackets for Kessel fixtures, the Aquatic Life light hangers, or the Aquatic Life floating suspension kit. Once everything's laid out in front of you, start by setting the LED rails down so that the thin edges of the rails are facing outwards. Then grab the included hanging kit, partly thread the included screws into the pair of barrel connectors on each cable, and then slide the screws into the channels on the top of each rail, first on one end of the rails and then on the other. You can then tighten down the barrel connectors and snug them up by hand. I personally like to wait until the fixture is fully assembled to tighten them down all the way, just so I know I have them spaced perfectly for where I need to mount the fixture to the tank mounts or the ceiling. If you did pick up that floating suspension kit from Aquatic Life, instead of using the included hanging kit, follow the steps in that suspension kit to attach it to the top of those rails. Next, grab the end plates starting with one side, space out the LED rails to match up with the three holes on each side of that end plate. Next, install the six screws to hold them in place, then do the same with the other side. Now, grab the LED panels and one at a time, remove the top center screws from each end of the panel, then slide the panel up against the LED rails so that they sit between the end plates, line up the screw holes, and then using the screws you remove from the lights, screw them into place. Once you've done one side, you can go ahead and repeat the process with the other side. Now you can install your LED brackets, either the universal brackets that came with the coral cover or the optional circular Kessel style brackets if you opted to get them. Depending on what primary LED light or lights you're planning on using, you'll want to space the brackets out to match them. To do that, I like to grab my primary fixture. In this case, I'm using a Hydra 64. Place it inside of the coral cover, make sure it's centered, and then take note of where I need to mount the rails to match up with the mounting points on the Hydra. For castle fixtures or lights that only need a single mounting point, it's really easy. Center out the bracket or space your pair of brackets out where you'd like them and then screw the brackets in place. With the light completely assembled, you can now hang it above your tank. You've got a few options. You can hang it from the ceiling using the included hanging kit. Just be sure to use appropriately rated plugs, butterfly clips, or drill screw hooks directly into your ceiling joists so that the fixture is properly supported. You can also use the optional floating suspension kit to hang it from your wall, or pick up a set of Aquatic Life's light hangers that attach to your aquarium stand to suspend the light over your tank without touching your walls or ceiling. Once you've got the light over your tank, you can then go ahead and plug everything in, plug it into power and download the HM Electronics Aquamaster app to your smart device, like your smartphone. When you open up the app, you'll see the coral cover LED panels in the device list. You can tap on one of the lights to connect it to the app. The first time you connect it, it'll ask for the password, which is 24897673. But don't worry about writing it down because it's listed right above the QR code in the blue column of the pamphlet that came with your coral cover. Once you're connected, it'll prompt you to rename the device. I have mine named BRS TV Studio and BRS TV Studio Rear, so I know which is the front and which is the back of my coral cover. So depending on which light you connected first, you can name it front or back to keep things simple. You can follow the same steps over again to connect that second LED panel. Once you've connected both of the LED panels, the next step is to click on the sliders icon at the bottom of the screen. You can preview the different spectrum or bulb combinations and also adjust the intensity. If you have a PAR meter, this is a perfect opportunity to play with the intensity settings as well as the spectrum settings while the fixture's over your tank so that you can see what is actually gonna work best for your system and hit those PAR numbers that you're looking for. Once you've got a solid idea of what spectrum and intensity you want, you can now click on the schedule icon at the bottom of the app. It defaults to easy setup, which is what most reefers are going to use. 
Pick one of the five bulb combinations listed at the top by clicking on it, or you can pick it out from the drop down menu just below. Next, select your start time and enter it under sunrise, then end time under sunset. You can also set your ramp time between three and 100 minutes. Ramp time in essence is the time it's going to take from your fixture to go from 0% when it first turns on to the maximum intensity setting that you have. And then inversely from that maximum intensity all the way back down to 0% when it's time for the light to shut off. So three minutes would be a very short ramp time while a hundred minutes would be fairly long. As a rule of thumb, if you're aiming for really high par numbers in your tank, a longer ramp time is gonna be better. And inversely, if you're on the lower end with those par numbers, you'll usually want a shorter ramp time. Next, set the maximum intensity between one and 100%, hit submit and you're done. You can also click on the status icon at the bottom of the app to view your schedule as a graph, as well as preview the schedule from start to finish. You can also get a quick look at the temperature your light is currently running at, or trigger a few of the fun modes like neon, lightning, and cloudy. And that's it. Your coral cover is all set up, ready to provide lovely photons to all of the depths and recesses of the branching corals, and really all of the corals in your reef tank. If you haven't ever used a PAR meter and want to know how to measure PAR in your tank the right way while you're setting up this light, you can check out this video where Ryan breaks it all down for you. It's actually really easy once you see the basics, so go ahead and check it out.